So already mid-December, there's two feet of snow in the forest area here, so you can't really access any of these uh, remote roads unless uh, they're plowed, right? So provincial parks are a great way to experience uh, winter camping in Canada. I'm going to keep the trailer hitched because i got to get going first thing in the morning. And I'm going to go explore my fat bike. I brought it just in case something like this would have happened where I wanted to uh, get around but yet uh, not uh, set up the jacks and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to get that out and go exploring, kind of show you a little bit about the park. So let's get the trailer set up and see where we go from there. I got the shovel from Princess Auto, I love it. It's great for a variety of things. It's not the best snow shovel though. So after I left the canoe shop, I picked up some firewood, not knowing where I'd be camping, but uh, this is gonna make fire nice and easy. Because the wood stove is my only heat source, when I go to bed I just rely on a warm sleeping bag. So when I wake up in the morning, the last thing I want to do is uh, mess around with the fire. So these, these are just barbecue fire starters that I use, they work really well. Because the barbecue starters have a flammable fume that they give off once you open up the plastic packaging, I like to keep them in a... Uh, ammunition box that's uh, pretty much waterproof and vapor proof so when it's in there I, I don't smell it but if I leave it out in a small area like the trail I really uh, smell the fumes for it so that's why I keep everything in an ammunition box that has to do with the wood stove. Thank you. 
So apparently you can rent cabins, you park your car in the lot, and then you take one of the park sleds and tow your gear to the cabins, which are a short distance away down a cross country trail. I ran into some people that were leaving the cabins and they said they were quite comfortable and they were heated with propane and electric heat. I've heard a lot about the skating rink. I'll definitely be coming back later in the year and check it out. It's got a nice open area for people to leave their skates and their shoes. Lots of picnic tables and benches back there. I imagine this is a common area where they bring out all the picnic tables and fire pits. They have what they call fire and ice festival when they have the skating rink where it's lit with tiki torches and you can skate throughout the night. One of the nice things about provincial parks that offer winter camping is they have heated showers. This shower is close to my campsite and I made a point to have a nice hot shower before I hit the road. Nice warm clean hot shower. When I reached the visitor center, I met some employees who were working to get things ready for the season. One of them told me to check out Stubbs Falls for some beautiful scenery. Stubbs Falls is at the end of a snowshoe trail, just over a kilometer long. Because it was still early season, I was told I'd be able to hike it in my boots. This looks like I am here. here. Those are snowshoeing trails, the dotted lines. This is what you be snowshoeing through. It's very cool. This has been a lot of fun exploring on my e-bike. I'm glad I brought it. It's worked out really well. It's nice just having the truck hitch to the trailer and not have to worry about the jacks and that sort of thing. And this really gives me a chance to explore the park. Um, fat tires are really good on the snow. I keep my kind of uh, feet off the pedals in case I do hit a patch of ice, but so far so good. So now I'm gonna head back to Eddie, make a nice hearty breakfast and just relax by the wood stove.
So I just got back from exploring the park. It's a beautiful place and there's so much to see. I can't wait to come back with my wife. Um, but now I'm starving. I just, uh, you burn some calories doing all that stuff. So I'm going to make like an egg uh, sausage uh, burrito with some cheese on it. Pack up the trailer and take Eddie back home. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next one. Cheers.